So welcome to this video. Uh, this video will be different from the other videos. First, the other day I was looking at the sky when I was producing somebody and there was a moon. But the sky was very clear. It's just wondering how this is going to happen. So I decided maybe it was an inspiration to still continue drawing in my sketchbook. This video is going to be really different from the other ones. I'm going to be speaking about uh, my journey as I got back into the dream. I got back into doing this after COVID hit and at first I was intimidated a lot to do and then I just decided maybe let me just do the drawing in 30 days so that's what I did it kept me on track but once I finished I was like okay and then what else am I going to do so I delayed one day one day became two days two days became a week then a whole month then three weeks I decided no I really need to go back to my drawing so I started drawing random things I felt like I said I'm not going to push myself and then of course, as the word usually does, they go to YouTube and start thinking about drawing inspiration. That took me a whole thread of watching video after video. I would pull advice you that, oh no, you need to practice, you practice every day. So I did that. And after maybe two weeks, I was so exhausted. I didn't get motivation, everything I was doing wasn't turning out the way I wanted. Then I decided, ah, I'll just draw what I want to draw when I want to draw. So this sketchbook took, actually it's taken almost three years or four years. To actually finish it's interesting because I really love to dream but I have every time I, I take a pencil and sit down to draw I'm like what do I draw then the moment you find something to draw find you get so many challenges and start wondering Am I really this good? Should I really start drawing? You get the whole imposter syndrome. You do something, it looks, looks so weird. I said it to some friends who are artists. They're like, oh yes, it's good. But you're just looking, oh, can't you see that this thing is just not correct? I just decided... I need to start somewhere, I can't keep on postponing. So I just decided that I'm going to draw every time when I can and when I can. And it was, and then that, that's when I decided to start a YouTube channel at least to keep me on track and at least be doing every single day so our uh, first YouTube channel I ever did was a picture of my previous drawings of course back then I didn't have or even now I don't even have the proper equipment I just use my phone, a small handheld tripod that, as you can see from my videos, really gives me a challenge. 
then where I live is near airport so there's so much noise the children speaking there's a kindergarten I decided let me just concentrate on my drawing and actually practice because I neglected it so much I did different challenges I left them midway I did the hundred faces challenge I had also did the 100 hands challenge. Um, I left them half, I just left them blanks, but I'll say that I'll just go back and finish them, even though it takes me a whole month. I'm going to diligently draw everything from beginning to finish. So I can at least start seeing some progress in my videos and my drawing. Mostly I do pencils and colored pencils and graphite pencils. I'm yet to start doing paints because paints are very intimidating. I don't have the right paper. Uh, it's actually, thread paper has been very expensive in this economic situation right now. It's very expensive, but I've gotten some paper and I'm actually waiting for it to come. And then I'll start maybe drawing. I was gifted some acrylic paints. I actually bought some pastels, some watercolors, some have soft pastels, soft chalks, even have paintbrush, I have charcoal, white charcoal, dark charcoal. So I'll be trying out all those. Maybe in the near future I'll just do one type of medium. And we'll be learned and take some courses. Or maybe just dig into it because I find out that just watching videos is not really getting me anywhere if I'm not actually practicing. And it's quite intimidating to have somebody tell you you need to draw every day. As I was doing this process, I was very intimidated on how I wanted to go about it. Because I've been doing pieces and most of the time I'm like, no. They actually don't look as, as a reference. So I just decided, let me stick to it. Let me just keep trying, keep trying. What I do, maybe a hundred or two hundred, I'm gonna just go back and see if there's any improvements, see what actually looks wrong and looks right. And even as I was drawing this, the first person I saw that the proportions are a bit wonky, the eyes are too close. I was like, should I just wrap the whole thing? If maybe it was in digital, like the dust, maybe just move the pictures apart. But this is actually traditional. And I was like, I start rubbing now, then this may take longer than I actually anticipated. So I decided to just stick to it and draw. I'm just because I actually enjoy it true. It's very calm, very relaxing. It's just what I needed to and wanted to do. My actual action began when I was actually a small child. I used to draw when I was in school. 
but then the curriculum changed and the whole dream and that class was removed so there was no way I could practice drawing and we didn't even have the materials or even the knowledge on how to go about it. So I actually shall it for more than two decades but I said I have to go back to it and enjoy it. And actually most of my family members don't know that I actually drew and they actually discovered that I drew. They are quite impressed but me as the artist himself, of course, there's the whole your art and thinking that you're not good enough. What people think about your art, you know, most things, but I just discovered it's all in my head. And I should just continue pushing through. Actually, find out how, how good can I be because I'm not competing against. Anyone that I was competing against my past self. So if I get to improve at least from week to week, then I'm actually becoming better and better at doing. See, the YouTube channel was actually really hard for me because I did not have the necessary equipment. I only had my phone, I didn't have a tripod stand I didn't have a microphone I didn't even have lights and what I was getting from where I am is very cheap and very it's, it's sort of like a handheld device it really doesn't allow angle that you can see you can only record from the side unless now you hold with your hand and actually have a over overhead view i plan that in the whatever equipment i have let me just start and as i continue as i grow then i'll be able to get the necessary equipment the lighting the books, the materials, the papers, even the mediums themselves. So I want to encourage everyone who's out there that even though we don't have the necessary materials to actually draw, this sketchbook that, that I'm actually drawing with is made out of drawing of printing paper. I know everyone is like, no, you have to invest in good things, but I'm actually just beginning to draw. And all the sketchbooks I have are too precious to me to just actually just start and just figure out what I'm doing. So I just decided I'll just make a couple of these sketchbooks out of printing papers then maybe I'll be I'll be able to practice more and actually see that grow then not be so precious on the paper and how much it costs for me drawing helps me to relax it helps me to ease my mind clean my mind it's actually very momentary Everything is actually silent. It's just me and my paper and my pen focusing on the lines and the outlines and how everything looks like. Most of the time, even when I draw, I usually wonder. I'm actually doing the right thing. Does it even look right? Should I just keep on rubbing and rubbing and rubbing? But I think it's just my perfectionism and I have to draw a line and say, no, that's enough. I can't keep on drawing and drabbing, rubbing and erasing and erasing. I have to just go with it because at every point 
when you drink process the lose be an ugly stage and once you get um, out of the ugly stage and things will start looking right so i've just decided that i need to dedicate myself and just draw just try it then maybe later on i'll come and review it maybe in six months time i'll review what i had drawn and actually see where i made mistakes how to improve them and all to things else so i decided in this youtube channel i'm going to be posting every week I know for the first month I wasn't consistent, but I decided for myself that I'm going to push myself. I push procrastinated a lot, but now I'm going to push myself and actually catch up to the more videos that I'm supposed to be posting online. So at least to motivate myself and see that this is actually my routine, my current routine. And let it match with whatever I'm doing with my studies, with work, and everything else. I just need to push myself for the past 90 days, and then it will become a habit. Yeah, I'll have to just keep drawing and drawing every single day. So that at least everything is good. And actually see improvements and really just just do whatever I want most of these videos will be just me drawing trying to figure out how to draw what to draw without mediums I'll be trying out different ways to record my videos different ways editing i'll try recording the video and putting the and recording most of the audio or also just recording the video and putting the output enjoy my videos and as you go through this journey if there's anything that you want me to explain or to even see me draw, you can just put it in the comment section. I know I'm not an expert, but we just journey together. Really inspire me not to I need to draw. If you can see anything wrong that I'm doing with drawing, if there's any corrections, you're actually welcome to post them. I'll appreciate them very much. Anyone has suggestions, anything, any comments, you can just post them. I will respond to every single one comment. And you're welcome to take me as a go on this journey. Keep on repeating this, but I really love trying. And this time I said I will stick to drawing it and then it looks bad I'll just draw and draw and draw until I become better because nobody is born an expert nobody is born good at drawing some people have the talent but drawing is just a skill as the marathon runners do you have to practice every single day every single shot you have to try put yourself up there and just do it it's intimidating to see all those big youtubers drawing and you know yourself you can't even edit you're not good at editing but i'll learn as i go on i don't want to stop and say let me first learn Drawing, let me first learn editing, let me first learn videography. As I continue with the videos, I'll continue learning. 
at least not to keep on postponing everything and just begin where I am. With time, I'll get better. If you like my content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. And also you can support me by going by using the links below. It will actually help me get better equipment, better better my main, main aim will just be improving on my art before I start investing in all these things like equipment, better papers more materials I just need to start improving on my art and also improving myself in videography editing skills and all those things I'll just let you enjoy the rest of the video leave a comment if you like so Bye, thanks for watching.